Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. And in this video, I wanna share with you five underrated lesser known features for iOS 17. The first one is a new toggle inside of Control Center that lets you ping your Apple Watch. So to add this, all you have to do is open up settings, tap on Control Center, and from here you can add the new toggle that says ping my watch. This is essentially the same feature that you can do from your Apple Watch to your iPhone, but flipped. So if you took your Apple Watch off somewhere and you don't remember where it is, all you have to do is open up Control Center and you can ping your watch right from here like this. Next up at number two is inside of weather. Weather in iOS 17 now gives you a little bit more detail. So for example, if we click on a day, we can now scroll and we can see a graph that shows the chance of rain throughout the day. We can also see a daily comparison, which is going to compare it to the previous day. Also in weather in iOS 17 is we get a little bit more granularity in terms of percentage for rain. So if I go to another city like Las Vegas, you can see here it's showing a 35% chance of rain. In iOS 16, it will go up in increments of 10, but here in iOS 17, it goes up in increments of five. So a little bit more detail in terms of the chance of rain for that day. And if we scroll down a bit in weather, you can see we have a few different cards. So we have weather averages. So it's gonna show how the temperature today is comparing to the average around this time of year. We also have a much bigger card for wind. So before in iOS 16, this was a square card, but now we have a lot more detail and a much bigger graphic for the wind. And also we have a lot more information for the moon and the phase of the moon. If we click on this, we can also see that we get an entire lunar calendar that's gonna show the phase of the moon on each specific date. And you can see when the next full moon is going to be. Next up at number three is Spotlight Search. Spotlight in iOS 17 is now a lot smarter. So let me show exactly what I mean. If I search for photos, for example, previously in iOS 16, it would only recommend I open up the application. However, here in iOS 17, you can see we get a lot more information in Spotlight. So you can see it recommends we launch into photos from one year ago, our favorites, and also our recent photos. So if you're searching for something specific, it's way faster to get to it right from Spotlight. And this also works for reminders as well. So if I type in reminders, you can see I can jump right to scheduled, completed, and assigned. And if I search for clock, you can see we have an option to set a timer and add an alarm right from Spotlight. And it also works for files as well. If I search up files, you can see it's going to recommend a few of my recent files right from here. Next at number four is probably my favorite one of the entire video. It is inside of reminders. If I go to create a new list inside of Reminders, I'm able to change the list type to Groceries. Many people use Reminders for their groceries. However, there wasn't any automatic sorting until now. So I'll just name this a test list. And this is now classified as a groceries list. So how does this differ from a normal list? Well, let me show you. If I add a new item, let's say milk right here, and I tap on done, I'll add another one such as cereal and then we'll say meat, and then we'll also say maybe fish. So just like this, you can see that Reminders is now automatically sorting all of my grocery items into specific categories. We have dairy, eggs and cheese, breads, cereals, meat, and seafood. So no matter how long your grocery list is, it's going to be so much easier to now find exactly what you want and check off items in Reminders as you're grocery shopping. And finally, at number five, it is Siri. Siri is way more useful in iOS 17 and it's way more conversation-like. The first thing is that you're now able to trigger Siri simply by saying Siri. You don't have to say, hey Siri. So this cuts the trigger phrase in half and it makes it a lot easier to bring up the voice assistant on your iPhone. And you can also keep talking to it once it is open. So once you have launched Siri, you no longer even have to say Siri again to keep asking different queries. So I'll give you an example of what I mean. Siri, what's the weather right now? It's currently cloudy and 24 degrees. Temperatures are heading down from 25 to 18 degrees tonight. How about in Las Vegas? It's currently clear and 23 degrees in Las Vegas, United States. When do the Blue Jays play next? The Blue Jays battle the Orioles at 5.05 p.m. What time is the Golden Knights game tonight? The Golden Knights meet the Panthers in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Final at 6 p.m. 
The Golden Knights lead the series. So you can just tell how useful this is because once Siri is open, you can just keep talking to it and asking questions just like it's a person almost because you don't have to trigger it at all. You can just keep asking your phone various things once it's open. You can also interrupt Siri as well. Siri, what's the weather today? Thunderstorms are how about in Las Vegas? Daytime temperatures. Thunderstorms are expected so just like that, you're able to see that even as Siri was responding to me and giving me my first answer, the microphone on my iPhone is still listening to me and you can interrupt Siri and ask it another thing in the middle of a response. So there we have it. Those are five underrated lesser known features in iOS 17. Let us know your favorites in the comments down below. Like I said, my favorite is probably the groceries list in reminders. Now, whenever I use the reminders app to check off when I'm grocery shopping, it is now a lot easier. So let us know your favorite in the comments down below. And if you found this video informative, helpful, please drop us a like as it does help us out quite a bit. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.